Today's a very special day. In our internal system, this only happened twice before, this is number 69. <laughs> nice. What's also nice, this is the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16, which is a stupid name because that's a gun and Alienware also already has the M15 and the M17, but whatever, I think it's a good laptop. Or maybe not, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Hello. Okay, for a power adapter, we get 240 watts. That's quite a bit. Well, then again, this is probably a pretty power hungry guy here. It's charged by a barrel adapter, but I believe you can do 100 watts of USB-C charging. As for other stuff, we get nothing. This is a pre-production unit. It is one of the very first laptops that we have seen that has Intel's Core H. I think that looks really good. Look at the size of this like foot on the bottom. They must have to do that to suck in air in here and shoot it out the back. They don't do the thing where it opens up on the bottom anymore. This back is very fingerprint prone. Oh, you can really see it in the overhead. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. So we have two Thunderbolts. I'm guessing a Thunderbolt 4, and I'm guessing because they're so close, there's only a single Thunderbolt controller, but that's fine. We also have full-size USB type A, ethernet. That's always nice to see. Full-size HDMI as well, power input, and around to the other side. We get another full-size HDMI and a mini SD card reader. Wish that was full-size for a laptop like this, but whatever. Overall, this is extremely similar to the Zephyrus G15. Now, you might be thinking, if this is essentially the same body as the G15, but is the M16, how did they get that extra inch? Well, by giving it a 16 by 10 display. This thing is so good looking. Look at that, it comes all the way down here. And they have a webcam too, look at that. That's something we haven't seen on Zephyrus in a good long while. Oh, it even has a matte display. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Ren for sponsoring today's video. Ren is a website where you calculate your carbon footprint and then offset it by funding projects that plant trees and protect rainforests. By answering a few questions about your lifestyle, you can see your carbon footprint and ways to reduce it. Once you sign up and make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint, you receive monthly updates from tree planting, rainforest protection, and other projects you support. No one can reduce their carbon footprint to zero, so you can offset what you have left after reducing. Click the link below, and that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> this display is so sick, so it's like tall quad HD, so it's 2560 by 1600. Oh my God, that looks good. <laughs> Massive trackpad. This right here is the kind of thing that you can, you know, actually use and not hate your life. Keyboard also, so good. Asus also has their Strix lineup, which has their opto-mechanical key switches. These are so much better. This is easily like probably tied for my favorite switches on a gaming laptop, aside from like the cherry ones on the M17. Great. Yeah, love the keyboard, awesome. Everything they interact with in this little area right here, Asus has nailed. It's so awesome to see like gaming laptops that don't like suck to use anymore. Like this, it's pretty light, is just over two kilograms. So this right here has an i9-11900H, which is eight cores, 16 threads, 10 nanometer. And also, you know, I have no clue how good it is. Um, we're not allowed to do performance testing on this guy. And also like I do have upstairs one that I'm allowed to do testing on, but it's not this design. It's one that Intel sent us and it's, it's garbage. It's terrible. Not because of the CPU, but because just the reference design that they gave us is really bad and throttles to all hell. So yeah, I have no clue how good these chips are right now and probably won't for like several weeks, but we'll let you know when we can find out. Oh, only. 500 gigabyte SSD, I'd much rather have like a terabyte and something like this, but whatever. This graphics driver could not find compatible graphics hardware. Uh, uh, -oh. uh <laughs> I was planning on not showing you performance testing because they asked, but I guess I'm just not doing performance testing. Uh, well, I guess while it figures that out, we can always do a nice little sound test. I think they said this is like a six speaker setup. Apparently it's good. Yeah, the XPS wins. This is really good though. It doesn't quite have like the deep bassy sounds, but clarity excellent overall. Good showing, not the best. We can also see here the displays are very comparable. It makes sense. I believe that they're both color calibrated, so they're both accurate. The Dell is a bit like richer. It 
feels more saturated and the blacks are deeper, but that's the trade-off that you have with this being a matte display. Everything's not quite as like crispy inky black, but also like when I move over here, it's not just, I don't see that light in this screen, but I see it really bad in the XPS. Okay, well, I did a bit more like updating, firmware crap, one device manager, no clue why we can't find the GPU. It's just not showing up at all. Maybe it was just hard disabled. I have no clue, but either way, we're not playing games today, which makes me sad because I wanted to play Valheim. <laughs> now I checked and you don't get Windows facial recognition with this webcam, but it doesn't really matter because you get this fingerprint reader here and it's just the best fingerprint reader ever because you hit the power button and it caches your fingerprint for when Windows asks for it, like after it's booted up. So you don't need to come in and touch it again. Friggin' awesome, really good. Now, how is the webcam? I'm guessing it's terrible, but at the same time, this seems totally usable. Uh, it's not fantastic, it's really grainy, but it also isn't having a lot of trouble. Like I'm moving around here, there's a lot of bright light there, there's a lot of dark there, a lot of dark there, and it's not doing like terrible stuff, like for a camera on a webcam. My face is kind of blown out when you come over here, but like, it's fine. I'd say this is pretty good. What to see? Respectable, very respectable. Yeah, that's a lot of heat pipes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, this one wraps around underneath. That's a lot of heat pipes, especially for something that's this thick. Now, it does look like you get M.2 slot here that's filled and another one right here if you want to, you know, upgrade it. You also get one RAM slot. This is one of those stupid Asus says this thing where they have half the RAM on the backside of the motherboard. So I guess this one, since it currently has 16 gigabytes on it, you could get it up to what, like 48 gigabytes of RAM if you put like a 32 gigabyte in this slot. But then if you buy the more expensive one that comes with 32 gigabytes, wait, that's the one that goes up to 48. This one would be what, 24? Yeah. yeah. Okay, math, it's hard. Now you also get a 90 watt hour battery. That's almost as big as you can get. I have no clue what the battery life on this is gonna be like. Uh, Intel's new processors, I don't know. They might be good, they're probably not. Uh, Intel didn't say anything <laughs> about battery life in their slides, so I'm guessing it's just terrible. If they had improvements over the previous generation, I'm sure they would have told us. So like, uh, I don't know, it might be six hours of battery life, like it's probably fine. But at the same time, the AMD version of this has 10, so like, I don't know. I can't really tell you, because I don't know enough about these processors yet. Oh, there's actually a GPU in there. There is for sure a GPU in here. It's right there. But at the same time, we can't use it for whatever reason, so yeah, that sucks. And I guess that's about the end here. This is a really good laptop, I think. The display, awesome. One of the best I have ever seen on a gaming laptop, maybe the best. We do have the Lenovo one with 16 by 10 coming in soon. So get subscribed to check that out. This is an extremely compelling device and it might be my gaming laptop of the year, depending on how good 11th gen Core H is. We'll know that in like a month or something. Sorry, I can't tell you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, have a great day. Get subscribed, hit like, and so long. Bye.